Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can adjust a one-piece swimsuit pattern to lengthen or shorten the body of the swimsuit because that is a big issue that a lot of people have with swimwear in general and also with swimwear sewing patterns is that the length of the body is not right for your body. So I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can easily make adjustments for your body on how to either lengthen it if you have a long torso or how to shorten the body of the swimsuit so that it can fit you perfectly. Okay, so I've got a swimsuit pattern here. This is just the front piece and yours may look like this and be both sides of the um, swimsuit or it might look more like this and just be half of the swimsuit because a lot of swimsuits are cut on the fold of the fabric so you would just have one half of the swimsuit body piece and then you would cut it on the fold of the fabric so when you unfold it it would be even on both sides but this one has the whole body in one piece here so if yours is half you would do this exact same thing just by using half rather than the whole thing so the first thing I'm going to do, this one is one I traced off so it doesn't have any sort of markings or length and shorten lines on it already. So this is going to be for those of you that have a pattern that does not have any length and shorten lines on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark the waist of the pattern. So the waist is just going to be the narrowest part of the body of the swimsuit. So, oops, I just moved my foot. So, on this pattern, it's just about right there. All right. So, that is our waist. And that is the first step whether you are lengthening or shortening your swimsuit. So now I'm going to show you how you would shorten the swimsuit. So if the body of your swimsuit needs to be shortened by two inches, then you would draw a line down from the waist and it's going to be two inches below the waist. And then you're going to draw another one two inches above the waist. And I like to add my length or shortening. I like to either take out or add to the body of the swimsuit in two places. Um, I like to split the amount in half and then do half on the lower, lower part and half on the upper part. But if you know that your swimsuit needs most of it taken out just in the top half, then of course you can eliminate this line and just take out everything from the upper part of the swimsuit. But I think it's a good place to start by just splitting it evenly and then taking it out evenly from above and below the waist. So if you want to take out two inches, so we're going to take out one inch from this, this um, line below the waist. So I'm going to draw another line one inch above that line. There we go. And then I'm going to draw another line one inch below this line. Here we go. Okay. Now we're going to fold the suit right along this lowest line. All right. So we got it folded right along that line and then we're going to bring that part up 
and match it up with this next line up. And that's going to take out exactly one inch because we measured those lines and they are one inch apart. So I'm just going to tape that down really quickly here. And there we go. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with this upper one. We're going to fold it right along this uppermost line. And fold it down to that next line just so that those two sharpie lines or pen lines, I just used sharpie so you could see it better, so those two lines just match up. And that is how you would take out two inches out of the body of your one-piece swimsuit. So you would then repeat this exact process on the back piece and take two inches out of the back as well because of course you want them to match. And before you go ahead and use this piece, I would use your French curve and just kind of smooth out these lines where things don't match up um, quite exactly anymore. So smooth out those lines and then trim that excess away. And now I'm going to show you how I would lengthen the swimsuit. So I'm going to take these tape pieces off. And this is the exact same concept as what we just did, except we're going to be adding to it instead of taking away from it. All right. So now we're going to add to it. So we have our waist, the center line, and we want to add an inch here, two inches below the waist, and another inch here, two inches above the waist. So in order to add, we obviously can't fold. We have to actually add to it. So I'm going to cut straight across this line. And straight across this line. And I forgot to do this in the previous step. So you should do this before you actually cut your pattern. But draw a line. So do this before you cut. I cut too soon. But just draw a little parallel line right here. And you're going to want to continue that down, not parallel, perpendicular, sorry. Draw a line perpendicular to all your other lines. Going across there, across both of the parts that we slashed. So, so I've got a line here, and you should definitely do that before you cut it. But... Now I'm going to add an inch to each of those. All right, I've got some extra pattern paper here. Make sure the strips are longer than the width of your suit. And then I'm going to draw a line on this pattern paper as well, going straight up and down, perpendicular to the long edges. Oops, just dropped by my pen. And then I'm going to line this up along one of those lines in my pattern paper. And if you don't have pattern paper with a grid like I do, it's not a big deal. You can just use regular white paper and just tape it behind your pattern piece and then use a ruler to make sure that it's one inch apart. But because the grid on my pattern paper is one inch wide, if I line this piece up with one of these lines on the grid, then I can then bring this one in and line it up on the next line down, and they'll be exactly one inch apart. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm lining this piece up one inch below this piece. There we go. 
So there's that. Next, I'm going to grab another piece of pattern paper and draw a line up that as well. There we go. And then I'm going to line this up with both this line and with the grid. Tape that down. And what this line here does is it just makes sure that everything stays even. So because we drew it, well, we should have <laughs> drawn it through the pattern before we cut it, we know that if we keep this line in, um, in line, we know that this piece is staying perfectly in line. So then I'm just going to tape this down. Looks like this isn't going to quite match up there, but so I'm taping this down one inch away from my upper piece. There we go. All right. So now we've added two inches to our suit. So once again, then you would repeat this exact process on the back because you want the back to match the front. And then here, I'm just gonna show you, you would do this step, um, whether you were shortening or lengthening, is just kind of grab your curve or freehand the curve. And there we go. Just make these Make these, oops, I'm drawing on my ruler. Just make these curves look a little nicer. And then trim these away. There we go. And that is how you add length or take away length from the body of your swimsuit. I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe, go sew some swimwear, and I will see you in the next one.